But the January transfer window is just around the corner. We're just going to tackle some rumors here and find out if Ali thinks it makes sense or not. Let's talk about someone who I have so much time for, and that is Rodrigo Goesch, one of my favorite impact players at Real Madrid. Um, but now we're hearing that he may be surplus to requirements, believe it or not, at Real Madrid. So far, it's not been the best start of the season. Just one goal and one assist in 11 games so far for Los Blancos. Uh Word is they want some more attacking reinforcements, Ale, and it may not be Rodrigo, or they're willing to use him to try and get maybe a bigger name out there. What do you think about this? Uh, I don't think Rodrigo is going anywhere anytime soon. And and I think Rodrigo has enough equity with Real Madrid, given the importance of some of the goals that he has scored in Champions League and some of the moments in which he has popped up and actually played an important part for Real Madrid. He's still very, very young and a guy that I think Real Madrid can build around alongside Vinny Jr. So to that end, I would say that he's not going anywhere. Now, I think this is coming up because of Rodrigo's I suppose, statements to the media while he's away yeah. with the national team in Brazil, in which he's saying that, yeah, he's not really all that comfortable playing as a number nine, that he's more of a guy that likes to play on the outside, but, you know, he's going to do the job that he's asked to do and so on and so forth. I don't know why players think that when they go away with the national team, uh, we're not going to find out what they're saying and that somehow you talking about your club in Real Madrid is not going to become news. Well, it did become news, and now we're talking about potential transfer rumors. Again, I don't think Rodrigo is going anywhere anytime soon. He's got to focus, though, on being more effective in the final third. He does a lot of good work, but he's got to put that final touch. He's got to, he's got to find that final pass, and he's got to find the goal, which he hasn't done all that often for Real Madrid. Only one goal so far in La Liga this season. That's perhaps where this is coming from, but I still think that Rodrigo stays at Real Madrid. Yeah, I think he's an absolute brilliant impact player even to bring off the bench he may not want to always just come off the bench but for now as you said he's young time may just be on his side let's move on now to talk about some managers antonio conte um where does he could be eyeing a move back to obviously italy yeah. or roma we're hearing what do you think of that ale uh well i wouldn't be excited whether i was roma or napoli uh and certainly if i was a player in one of those clubs because what seems to have happened with Antonio Conte in his managerial career is that he seems very excited for about the first three days that he's at the new club, and then everything is miserable. And everything around him is mis miserable. The players around him are miserable. The feeling in the club is miserable. And, and then it ends up being the same discussion. Oh, I don't have the tools. I don't have the players. What do you want me to do? Uh, we're limited. We're short there's nothing we can do with the town that is available here and uh, seven eight months later he gone he's out the door because he's miserable and again the environment around him is miserable so i i i don't know how much more uh leeway antonio conte has with his managerial career uh it's a trend that is going in the wrong direction if I'm Napoli, I'm looking elsewhere, if that's the case. If I'm Roma, I'm also looking elsewhere, if that's the case. Uh, I know Roma is struggling, and, but I mean, what a transition that would be from Mourinho <laughs> to Antonio Conte. It's not very uplifting either way. Um, yeah, I, 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 at this point, if I were one of those clubs, I'm, I'm looking for, for something different, for from a change of pace, uh, uh, perhaps a, a younger profile manager or somebody who has actually is excited about the opportunity to take on these teams, and especially in the case of Roma. Well, back to talking about players now, uh, someone who we watch very closely again, Tony Crows. What an absolute talent there in that midfield. He is getting on in age, but still an absolute legend there. Word is Manchester City could be on the horizon or there are links, of course, right now. And this is purely, I suppose, based on his relationship with Pep Guardiola. Of course, they spent some time together in Germany. And Kroos actually had a, an amazing thing to say, I remember, about Guardiola, where he said that usually before, based on how the German teams play, nobody cared that much about the midfield men. But when Pep came in, he said suddenly he, he changed everything for us. He made us feel loved and, and basically highlighted the graph that goes on in that midfield. So Tony Crow is probably one more time dreaming of working with Pep. And could it be at Man City? I dream of working with Pep. <laughs> doesn't mean it's going to happen. Now, I, 
again, this goes back to the current situation of Tony Kroos and, and Real Madrid. And, yeah. and, and so obviously his role has been diminished. Uh, but unlike Rodrigo, who's complaining about his role, uh, Tony Kroos actually, uh, there's been some statements this week in which he says, yeah, you know, I'm not playing all that much, but uh, on the other side, I'm pretty well rested and I'm pretty fresh. And look, essentially his approach is, I'm here. I'm ready. I'm good with whatever is going on. The team is doing well. I'm doing well. So if you put me in the field, I'm ready for you. If not, I'll be here comfortably and I'm not going to fight any of this. Uh, I, I think it's the approach of a player who is very content with his career, very much at peace with what he has been able to achieve in his career. And so therefore, I don't know that he is essentially knocking the door down for Pep Guardiola and saying, hey, look, I, I can give you this and I can give you that. I think Tony Cross right now is happy. As happy he can be at this point in his career. He knows he's on the backside of the career. He's going to enjoy whatever opportunities come about. But he's not chasing it. He, I don't think he has the, the drive right now and the hunger to be chasing it. He's just in a comfortable place where he's going to do well when he's given an opportunity. But he's not going to stress about what my next big chance is going to be. 